that is the entrance to the Grand Lake side of Rocky Mountain National Park. We made it. So just gotta unpack the car and get ready. All right, just gotta throw some clothes on. All right, ready. 8 a.m. starting the ride. Let's get it. <laughs> I suppose I should explain what I'm doing really quick. This is Trail Ridge Road. Now, for those who are unfamiliar, this is the road that connects the easternmost and westernmost parts of Rocky Mountain National Park. This 46 mile stretch of road gets up real high, reaching a peak elevation of 12,183 feet and 11 miles of the road is above treeline. It follows the path that the Ute and other Native American tribes used for thousands of years in order to traverse over the Rockies. Now I've driven on this road quite a few times now, I think the first time being six years ago, and every single time it blows me away. This is one of the most scenic roads in all of America. The road is mostly used by motor vehicles, but once in a while you'll see one or two people up there who are crazy enough to be biking it. Today, that's me. All right, first three miles feeling really good. It's just been like flat or downhill so far, which is kind of surprising. Yo, check out this foot setup I got. I threw some plastic baggies over my shoes to block wind and water from the road. Kind of janky setup, but it worked out pretty good. My feet were toasty warm the whole ride. Wow, this feels like a dream to actually be doing this ride. It is so beautiful out this morning. Six miles in, and it's been mostly flat actually so far. I saw that on the map, it's gonna be like flat for a few miles and then, and then we're gonna hit that incline for a good while. <laughs> climb is really kicking into high gear right now. I think it's just gonna be pretty relentless until I get to the top. It's getting warm up here. I think I might take one of these layers off. You're recording, by the way. Oh, nice. <laughs> I think I'm 12 miles in right now. Dude, I can't believe how that was a pretty easy 12. All right, a little sick, yo. Peace out. All right. <laughs> Hour 20 in, I think it's time for a snack because we got a sweet view right here. All right, here's what we got on the menu today. We got some rice cakes and an apple. Just straight carbs, straight energy to help me get through this ride. You know, it actually feels weird not eating donuts while I'm biking. <laughs> I, feel, I swear like the last, I don't know how many bike rides I've done have been a biking for donuts episode where I eat a bunch of donuts and I kind of miss it. I kind of want a donut right now. <laughs> Yeah, let's get this out of the road. Someone's gonna hit that with their car. <laughs> yeah, you guys see this one? Two miles above sea level, 10,560 feet. We're getting up there. All right, another hour gone by since I had my last snack and uh, I'm just about at tree line. You can see I'm like level with it here. So I'm not really sure 
how much more I have to climb, but this is the last of my food, so hopefully this gets me to the top. I actually get chills watching that footage back. I remember five or six years ago when I first drove on this road, I saw one lone cyclist biking at the top and I remember thinking, who would be crazy enough to do something like that? There's no way I can ever pull off something like that. And here I am, six years later, living in Colorado, biking at the top of Trail Ridge Road. <laughs> Pretty cool to see how far I've come. I made it down to Alex's car. Um, he's up at the top of a mountain right now, so I'm just gonna meet him down in Estes Park. I'm gonna do the rest of the ride down. I'm gonna take that alternate route right there, 34, 36 or something, and uh, it was a good ride. All right, I finally made it down to Estes Park. It was 46 miles, four hours of biking. Oh, feels good to be down. Yo, look at this. There's like two elk fighting. What's up there? Sorry, Al, because I couldn't wait for you to eat. I got some chicken and a stout. God, that's good. All right, that's it for the bike ride. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is one of those rides that has to be on every cyclist bucket list because it's truly incredible. I want to give a huge shout out to my older brother, Alex, for making this all possible. He drove me an hour and a half from one side of Rocky Mountain National Park to the other so I can go from like one point to the other instead of doing a round trip because there's no way I could have pulled off a round trip. He also helped out by getting some of those some of those shots of me biking towards the camera. So Alex, thank you so much. All right guys, like this video, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Here's some more videos, you know, right here and uh, catch you guys in the next one.